Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to draw a shear force and bending moment diagram of an overhanging beam having UDL on its entire lens length. We have three three steps to follow: reactions, shear force diagram, and bending moment diagram. Okay, first of all, we will calculate reactions. So total load R A plus R B is equal to total load, which is we have. 3 meter beam so 2 multiplied by 3 is equal to 6 kilo newton now we have rb multiplied by 2 equals to 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 2.5 okay so i have divided this beam into two parts from A to B, then from B to C. Okay, so I will say this is C point. We might need another point and we will see in our bending moment section. Okay. So from A to B is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 because UDL always X is in the mid middle of the span. Then I have another part B to C which is 2 multiplied by 1 multiply by 2.5 this is 2 and this is 1 meter half of 1 meter is 0.5 so the whole distance would be 2.5 okay it will be 4 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 kilo newton okay so rb is equal to 9 divided by 2 it will be 4.5 kilo newton okay now, I have to calculate reaction at Ra. Ra is equal to total load minus Rb. Okay. Total load we have calculated which is 6. 6 minus 4.5 Ra is equal to 1.5 kN. Okay. Now, we have two numbers. At Ra, and at RB reactions at RA and reactions at RB based on these number and by looking at our beam we can draw our shear force diagram okay so at RA is 1.5 so 1.5 is somewhere here so that's 1.5 okay now at point B is 4.5 but at the same time we have a UDL between A to B which is 4 kN. So 4 kN what it will do it will influence our beam and try to push our beam downwards and the diagram would look something like this. Okay. So this is here is minus 2.5 and how we got 2.5 we had 1.5 reactions at RA going upward and we had a force which is 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 minus 4 it will be minus 2.5 so minus 2.5 will be at the lower part of the beam which is negative zone okay once we have minus 2.5 at point B we, we have point at point B the reactions going upwards which is 4.5 so we will go upwards, so here 2.5 and then we will go up to 2. So this is our 2 kN. Once we have 2 kN, then in order to get to point C, so this is point C, this is point B and this is point A, we have UDL from B to C which is 2 kN per meter and we have 1 meter, so it will be 2. We will just connect the line with point C. That's how we can draw our shear force diagram for this type of beam. Okay. So because we have UDL, that's why we have to draw diagonal lines rather than straight lines. Okay. Now we have to draw a bending moment diagram. In order to draw a bending moment diagram, we have to calculate bending moment first, then we will be able to draw our bending moment diagram. Okay. Okay, bending moment at point A. At point A we had 1.5. So 1.5 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Bending moment 
at point B which is going to be 1.5 multiplied by 2 minus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 then we have plus 4.5 multiplied by 0 okay so at point A we had 1.5 1.5 multiplied by 2 because to get to point B is 2 meter then between A to B we have UDL which is 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1 half distance of the beam okay then we had at point B which is 4.5 multiplied by 0 because we don't have any arm for this part that's why I have calculated 0 I mean 4.5 multiplied by 0 now at this point it would be great if we create another point in the middle of the beam okay it is also important once we have a point in the middle of the beam then it will help us to create a good bending moment diagram okay so I will call it at point D okay so now this is going to be 3 minus 4 plus 0 is equal to minus 1 so at point A we have 0, at point B we have minus 1 kN. Now, bending moment at D is going to be 1.5 multiplied by 1 minus 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 it will be 1.5 minus 1 0 0.5 okay now how we did it 1.5 was at point a to get to point d is 1 meter so 1.5 multiplied by 1 then to get to point a to b we have udl also is 2 meter i mean 2 kilonewton 2 multiplied by 0 0.5 which is half length of udl okay now bending moment at point c bending moment at point c is going to be 1.5 multiplied by 3 minus 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 1.5 then we have plus 4.5 multiplied by 1 so it will be 4.5 minus 9 plus 4.5 so the final answer would be 0 ok now based on these numbers we have to draw our bending moment diagram ok so at our beam we have four points one A this is D this is B and this is our C so I will just write it A D B and C ok at point A we are 0 at point D we have 2.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 is here somewhere at point B we have minus 1 minus 1 is somewhere here ok so this is 0 0.5 and at point C we have 0 now we have to connect with these points with parabolic line ok so the parabolic line we have to make a parabola while connecting these points that's how we can draw our bending moment diagram so this part is negative zone and this is positive zone so that's how you can draw a bending moment diagram for this type of beam that's it for today thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel